Hi everyone, I'm Stephen Hyde. Today I want to show you some recent work that I've done with my rocket engine. But first, I want to give you some background. So, for my senior catchdown project, I'm working on a study comparing the performance of gas on liquid injectors in simple, low cost rocket engines. Now, what I mean by that is that I'm comparing not top of the line rocket engine injectors as you see on the RS25 or the Raptor engine. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm looking at what can actually be made and manufactured with relatively simple machine tools. So stuff that I have at my college is all hand operated. There's no CNC or anything like that. So I'm trying to get an idea of what can be reasonably achieved with relatively simple machine tools and then the kind of performances that I can get out of that. What I want to show you today is the first side by side comparison that I've been able to do between two injectors that I've made. The first one is a impinging doublet design. So what that is, is it's one fuel hole and one gaseous oxygen hole. And what, and what they do is they're angled in, in towards each other slightly so that they'll impinge and then spray out, hopefully mixing very well and then combusting. The second is an impinging triplet design. Now it's very similar to the impinging doublet, only there are two fuel holes instead of one. What that does is it makes it more symmetrical in the way that it sprays out and it also makes sure that the fuel is impinging in on itself at the same time that it's impinging on the oxygen flow. So ideally what that would mean is that it would mix together a little better and we'll see in the video that that's exactly what it does. Let's watch. Now there's a lot of really cool stuff to talk about in this video. First off, the impinging triplet injector performed way better than the impinging doublet. Now, it had a higher thrust and a higher specific impulse while also operating at a slightly lower chamber pressure. Now, normally with a higher chamber pressure, you usually expect to have much better performance, but in this case it was the opposite. So what that indicates is that the impinging triplet is actually performing way better at mixing and uh, allowing the fuels to properly mix and then combust it within the combustion chamber than the impinging doublet. Now, you can also see that during the test, the mixing layer of the exhaust plume, I'll put a picture up uh, explaining what that is right now, the mixing layer of the exhaust plume for the engine using the impinging doublet design is much more visible and much brighter. So what that means, based on my understanding, is that more unburned propellant is present in the exhaust plume that is then reacting and combusting with oxygen in the atmosphere. Now compare that to the impinging triplet, which is much clearer. There's a lot less bright mixing layer. What that means to me is that there's a lot less unburned propellant exiting the nozzle. At this stage, however, a lot of this analysis is somewhat speculative since I don't have a whole lot of data to go on at the moment. There's a lot of that I don't know about this yet, and there's a lot of tests that I want to do to better understand what's going on, to better understand the mixing characteristics of the injectors, and how everything is actually coming together to get the results that we're seeing. And, well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, if indeed you have, and I will see you guys in the next video, whenever that happens to come out. Bye!